So Samsung has refreshed and updated the immensely popular Galaxy Watch lineup with two new wearables for late 2023. How does it stack up though against the Google Pixel Watch? Here's everything you need to know. Google's decision to only offer one 41mm display option really does still sting, while Samsung actually offers options for almost all tastes and sizes, with more colours to boot, 40 and 44 regular Watch 6, and 43 and 47mm Watch 6 classic sizes for you to go out and decide between. The workable display areas are also larger here, with practically tiny bezels on the newest models. You can see by virtue of the design that the Galaxy Watch 6 and Watch 6 Classic are Definitely going to be more durable with boxy frames and admittedly familiar designs based upon the predecessors. The regular Watch 6 iterates on the Watch 5 with smaller bezels, but the reintroduction of the rotating bezel on the Watch 6 Classic is definitely going to be very welcome for hardcore fans. The Pixel Watch has a rotating crown of its own, which works in a similar way to the outer physical bezel on the Watch 6 Classic for things like controls for menus and UI sections. This also doubles as a button on the Pixel Watch, while the Watch 6 has two side buttons which you'll need to use to activate certain things within the system. Sure, the Pixel Watch is attractive, but it's the smaller chassis is probably not going to be suited to all wrists, nor do those curved glass sides offer the same protection as the Watch 6 series. To be completely honest, personal preference is going to play a big part in which device you do go out and choose. Because Google opted for stainless steel casings, the Pixel Watch is actually, despite its diminutive size, 8 grams heavier than the 40mm Watch 6 and 3 grams heavier than the 44mm Baseline Watch 6. The larger Watch 6 Classic though is a little bit beefier as you probably would have expected at 52 grams for the 43mm model and 59 grams for that 47mm model respectively. Neither version of either of these smartwatches is uncomfortable and probably shouldn't cause too much wrist fatigue though even with those increased weights. While we didn't get to try it out as much as we would like, Samsung has introduced a new clasp mechanism for its bands on the Watch 6 series, which is said to be easier than it has been on previous models. That comes with a lot of extra options that Samsung is touting, including new fabric bands, whilst Google's proprietary clipping bands are less plentiful, but should cover most styles that you will desire. It's definitely worth noting that at this point on paper, the Galaxy Watch 6 and Watch 6 Classic will absolutely smoke the Google Pixel Watch when it comes to performance. And it's a complete no contest, courtesy of the improved Exynos W930 processor and a bump from 1.5 to two gigabytes of base RAM on these devices. For reference, the Pixel Watch is running a practically ancient Exynos 9110 SoC, but a lot of the heavy lifting is aided by the addition of a Cortex M33 Co processor. In truth, it's worth noting side by side, it's actually harder to notice such a huge chasm in fact, the Pixel Watch is clearly well optimized and performs well given its inferior internals. It does though have 2GB of RAM and runs impressively given that older processor on board. You might spot little slowdowns such as with app loading times, but this is only really noticeable when using these watches next to one another. In raw power terms though, Samsung's latest processor should offer a big leap for long term usage. The Pixel Watch still has double the storage capacity of the Galaxy Watch 6 and Watch 6 Classic, which actually ships with 16 gigabytes of onboard storage versus 32 gigabytes on Google's own first party wearable. Of course, with that new processor means there's gonna be some battery benefits that we haven't really been able to test as that newer, more power efficient processor should expand that solid, but not quite exceptional Galaxy Watch 5 lifespan. If you've ever used the Google Pixel Watch, you'll know that it can last a day, but it suffers heavily when you start to do things like track workouts or veer off from light usage like replying to messages or controlling apps like YouTube Music and the dreaded GPS battery drain that this does have on the wearable. An interesting tidbit here though is that at the time of release, the Galaxy Watch 6 and Watch 6 Classic are actually the only Wear OS watches that are available to run the latest Wear OS 4.0 build, which has One UI 5.0 built on top. Certain UI elements are pretty similar in One UI, but not everything is exactly the same. Things like invoking the app drawer and the layout of your installed applications are visually different on both of these wearables, but it's fairly familiar across the board. It's also really good to see Samsung coming out with tighter integration with Galaxy smartphones, such as watch face syncing, something which annoyingly is still missing on the Pixel Watch, despite several updates and feature drop patches. Material U is distinct from One UI, and the wealth of Samsung utility-heavy watch faces and brand partnerships means if you do want extras, 
it may be worthwhile looking over there. Samsung also throws in lots of added features and functions, including enhanced auto workout tracking and fitness functionality, which definitely far exceeds the base Fitbit functions baked into Google's first party wearable. We're definitely hoping to see more from Google's second gen Pixel Watch, which could, according to rumors, arrive later this year alongside the Pixel 8 and 8 Pro. Few details though are available, at least at this stage, on that next gen option. Because of that, we think that at least until we do see evidence of a Pixel Watch 2, at, even at this early stage, the Galaxy Watch 6 or Watch 6 Classic are the only Wear OS watches that you should go out and look at buying or pre-ordering if you do own an Android phone. And we're recommending these after just a brief period of testing and trialing the brand new wearable devices. Another reason is the lower start price of $329 for the Watch 6 versus $349 for Google's own wearable for the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi models. It's a big reason why we say that the Google Pixel Watch is truly hard to recommend at this stage within its release or product life cycle. For most people, you should probably go out and get a Samsung wearable as they just offer much more bang for your buck, which is important for such an Android accessory. I want to ask you though, which are you picking up and why? Be that Watch 6, Watch 6 Classic, or even the Pixel Watch? Let us know down in the comment sections below. So far though, so good with regard to the Google Pixel Watch. It was pretty good in its time. The Galaxy Watch 6 and the Watch 6 Classic. Thanks for watching though. This is Damon with Android Authority and I'll catch you in the next one.